Hi Extra, I'm Trudy Lawson, the new Bachelorette, and I'm so excited for you to come along with me on my journey to find Mr. Right. Charity ended her run as part of Zach's final four. This is hard. I know. Like really hard. Now she's ready to be the face of season 20. Every time I hear the words Bachelorette or I'm the Bachelorette, it's so surreal. Here's what you need to know about the new Bachelorette. She's 27. She was born and raised in Columbus, Georgia. She graduated from Auburn University, works as a child and family therapist, and loves to travel. I'm so grateful to be here. I mean, I never in a million years thought I would be in this position, but I am so ready to find love. Host Jesse Palmer broke the big Bachelorette news tour during the Women Tell All episode. I want you to be our next Stop. Bachelorette. Is this for real? No yeah. way. I was stunned. I had to ask him again. I was like, are you sure? Like, did you actually call my name? Like, are you asking me? Um, I was total, totally shocked. Um, had no idea like it would have actually been me. And so to hear my name called in that moment, like, yeah, I was in pure, pure shock. Are you kidding? Charity, this is happening. No way, I'm gonna cry. I think the end goal, obviously, is to, to find my husband and my person. But like, I just wanna have a good time, too, and, and lead with my heart. There's no game plan. <laughs> like, you, I don't know if there is like a, a manual on how to survive being the bachelorette. But um, I'm just hoping that the guys come in with an open heart, as, as I am coming into all of this, and hopefully we'll, we'll find love at some point. And so far, so good for Charity. Night one, it was insane. I was completely swept off my feet, straight out the limos. Like the limo entrances were insane. The guys are so sincere and so funny, and I feel like they're so open and ready. Like nobody really was holding back, which was like a shock for me, because I remember for me, you know, you try to play it safe a little bit on night one and try to test, like, you know, get a feel for what's happening. But the guys, I feel like are pretty confident, which is something I'm looking for. and. They definitely surprised me. I've never dated this many guys before, so I don't know how to do that. Um, but you know, it comes with so many emotions. Like I am coming in here, like I said, with intentions of finding my person. So I'm taking it all, all relationships serious. And I, like I said, I don't know how to navigate that. So I could imagine, yeah, there, there might be some, some points where it might get a little challenging for me, but um, I'm, confident that I'll be able to get through. I feel like my main red flag is dishonesty. I value honesty so much in all of my relationships, friendships, intimate, whatever that looks like. Um, so for, for a guy to be open and authentic, authenticity, like I want you to feel like you can be your best self. I know like it takes time to warm up to people, but you know, if you're comfortable around me and you're able to kind of let those walls down, be vulnerable, that's what I need, a good communicator, someone who's willing to communicate how they're feeling, because I know this journey is insane. It's gonna have highs and lows, and so I want you to be able to express like what you're feeling in the moment and, and being true in that. I started off out the gate on last season just being myself, so like I said, the authenticity, just staying true to that. I plan on doing that now um, even more. And honestly, like just being okay with being vulnerable, like <laughs> there's a lots of tears <laughs> for me last season. There's gonna be some more, <laughs> hopefully good tears, but just letting the guys know that it's okay to showcase those emotions. It's okay to be yourself um, and just being a good listener. Her ex, Zach, dumped her and he got engaged to Katie. Oh my God. Katie. <laughs> Will you marry me? <laughs> Absolutely. But Charity says she's got no hard feelings. Honestly, like everything happens for a reason and truly like I think I look back on it now and it definitely is one of those things where I say a blessing in disguise. Like I'm here now in, in the driver's seat of my own story and it's, I don't know how it all will unfold, but I'm definitely grateful and yeah, I'm happy that I'm at where I'm at. He's a stand up guy, like there's no bad blood. Like I really, do wish him the best and the friendship will definitely remain.